Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Wace, and today I wanted to take care of the shifter stop issue that I had with the second gear not going in properly, and I wanted to go and install my new shift knob. Now, if you've been following the channel for some time, you know that I haven't really installed any transmission stuff or any uh, shifter stuff. I did get the Billetworks shift kit a little bit ago, but um, I decided to hold off on that because there were some easier options, like Parent sent me their Super Shifter Stop. So I figured I'd give it a shot, especially at least at that time, things were really cold and I didn't have any good way to get it underneath my car. Now, I'm really excited about this because I did break my shift, uh, my shift knob, uh, actually installing the, the uh, Parent Super Shifter stop. One thing I'm not 100% sure about is if you can see, this is off-white or eggshell and my car is bright white. Now, it doesn't particularly matter because nobody's really going to see this from the outside, but it's still something that I wanted to point out, at least for my purposes. Um, now, a couple of other things I want to do today is I did get a tape measure because I wanted to see if the throws on the um, if the throws actually do get shorter. I know it's not exactly billed as a short throw uh, item, but I believe, I believe at least it feels like they're a little shorter. So what I did was I got a measuring tape. We're gonna measure um, what they are before installing it and then putting it back on and then adjusting it. And then of course adjusting it is, is number two. I definitely wanna fix that issue that I have going into second because it doesn't feel very good. Though I don't know why, but for whatever reason, when I go into second, the, um, the reverse lockout moves up, which I don't think that's right. And then second, well, thirdly, get the shift knob on. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up the camera and let's get started. So as usual, parents packing is always amazing. You know, you get a couple of parent stickers. Um, you get all the hardware that you need to actually do the installation. You get very good instructions. I This is the one thing that's been really cool with uh, everything that they've sent me is the instructions are top notch and you know, sometimes you get some, you know, you get some parts, especially if you get them from eBay, you don't get any instructions. And the fact that they'll do like um, actual screenshots and step-by-step -step stuff is helpful for somebody like me who sometimes doesn't know exactly what to do. Now, this is a pretty easy installation, but if you get some of the other stuff that's a little bit harder and you're, you know, you, you haven't really been under the hood that much, you will appreciate actual pictures and word instructions. So um, this stuff, not too bad because like this usually a uh, hardware like this you'll probably already have for the most part but like um, I've actually been giving them suggestions to add <laughs> extra bits if they can so for example when I was helping uh, my friend Jordan put his shifter stop in we actually did lose a nut and a washer and we ended up having to drive to Walmart to get another one thankfully it was still open because it was really late at night but just something to keep in mind that if you get some of these parts you know something small like this be careful because you're only going to get one so for those of you wondering, I actually have the OEM shift knob here as well. And weight, so this is a weighted knob. So I wanted to see the difference between the two. So this is actually just in grams. So this is the OEM one, and that's right at 200 grams. I've seen some people say that it's like a little bit heavier, uh, but mine is just this one, but maybe because I broke it. And so the parent one, I mean, it is heavy. It's like 444 grams. Um, so if you look into, so let's see if you want pounds, this is... 7.1 ounces, where this is about 15.7. That's almost a pound. I think it's like 16 ounces to a pound. That's pretty heavy. So as you can see, I got my shop light installed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the uh, super shift stop, shift stop taken off, get everything back to OEM, and we'll just do the measurement. And then we'll do the install and see what the difference is. So you can actually see this is what I accidentally did. I 
twisted it too much to where the cap started coming off. And you can see that's not how that's supposed to be. Um, I didn't realize that this cap was just, I guess, glued on top. And so the more you, you twist it, the more it's going to push this up. And so that's, that was my mistake and no idea. So now you know to don't twist it so much. Seeing as the cap slowly, actually, I think most of the cap is coming off already. So it doesn't need to be that far down. But anyway, let me reset up the camera because I want to see, like, um, I want you guys to be able to see maybe from like a top down angle uh, what the shifting looks like. Okay, so I totally saw this in Import Image Racing's video like a couple of months ago uh, where what they did was they actually took a measuring tape and they put it up against here and they were they were calculating the, well not calculating, but they were looking at the difference between uh, the shifts when they installed the shift plate. This is just the stock and so what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to put this uh, measuring tape up against the USBs right here and I'm going to measure it uh, from this line that's in the middle of the gears, you can actually see, and basically where it lines up in the in third gear and then I'm gonna pull it back to fourth gear and see where it lines up there and just note those numbers. So uh, from here I'm gonna push it up to third and if I look from the center of that, that is right at the six and a half inch mark. Then we're putting it back to fourth. It comes back to right at about the 10 inch mark. Um, wait, what is it, six and a half inch? Yeah, six and a half inches to 10 inches. So that's like three and a half inches is where we went. And uh, you guys remember that because I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video to remember it. So let's get the shifter stop back on, adjusted, and we'll see what the difference is. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting everything back the way that it originally was. Oh, well, let's, so now you guys actually see a uh, much better quality version of what I did the other night. But really, I'm just putting everything back and got these long screws in just enough to where it doesn't move because that's what I care about. Oh, goodness. The suggestion I had made was instead of using these Allen keys, just get like a screwdriver with a, one of these front ends. Okay, that's actually better. What was happening was first this, the reverse lockout was actually touching or the reverse lockout was going up and I didn't like that. And this is still like really good. So now that, okay, so now that we have these, let's see if the throw is actually shorter. That's, that's really what I wanted to know. And uh, let's zoom you guys out so you can see. Let's get them open right where we were. So this is now, interestingly enough, <laughs> it's not six and a half. It's like, yeah, it's like six, it's like two dots over six and a half. So that hasn't really changed. Uh, I mean, that's a negligible amount of change. Now going down to fourth, that is, it's right, it's like nine and three quarters. So like, it changed, but I... I feel like maybe not as much as you would think that it would. So again, from six, so a little bit. So I'd say, uh, I don't know. I don't even know if I'd count that over six and a half. It looks, like I said, it's really only like one dot over six and a half. So I'd say we keep that at six and a half, but like the shift of fourth 
actually did come down to nine, nine and three quarters. So we lost a quarter, three quarters of an inch in difference. So the point of this was not to see like, hey, how much, you know, like it's so great. Like, wow, it, it made my, sh my shifts like 30% shorter, but it did make them short ish. You know, you did lose some, some space. And the thing is you may not see it, but when you're shifting it, you feel it more than anything else. I still completely recommend the shifter or this, uh, this kit, especially with these two, these two plates on the top and the bottom. These, these are really making, they're making a big enough difference. As you can see that we're losing at least in th from third to fourth enough. I'd say, will it be, um, you know, life changing if you're in a race? Probably not. But as a daily driver, it feels phenomenal. So now that we've got all this done, I'm happy with the way this is. Um, I want to get the shift knob on because that's that's really the, the big meat and potatoes. That thing is like almost a pound and I can't wait to see what that feels like. Now that I'm good with how all this feels, I'm actually going to put everything back together and then get ready for the, the new shift knob, which I'm really excited for. All right, good. So the way the new shift knob works is you've got this section here that you need to remove, and this is what's gonna get screwed over here, and there's gonna be a lockout up top that you'll tighten to keep this from moving, then you'll screw this back onto here. So you'll see how I'm about to do that. And there is an O-ring on the inside. Oh man, so there you go. So there's the so there's the lockout. This is what you're going to use to actually lock this in place. So I'll put this right here. So what they suggested was you tighten this up, you know, until it's tight, until you feel it, and then one turn backwards. So I'm going to turn it one turn backwards. Then I've got the handy dandy Allen key they gave me, which I will use to. Hmm. I wonder if that needs to be flush. Let me see. It doesn't say anything about that. Well, let me get this. Okay, so now that it's flush, now I'm going to turn it. I would suggest maybe doing that just so it doesn't look weird. So, oh, actually, you know what? I see what it's doing. So as it turns, that gets pushed up. So we'll turn this until it stops moving. Oh, actually it does on its own. You know what, let me double check the instructions because I don't know if that needs to be flush or not. I, I feel like it does. Okay, all right, so it doesn't matter if it's, it just needs to be tight. So it's tight, so I'll turn it back one and a half. So it doesn't, doesn't need to be flushed. So then I will tighten this guy up. That's not going anywhere. Uh, make sure that, yeah, that's good. Yeah, all right, so then we will install this guy on here. I think that's it. Wow, that is, that is very, that is a smooth feeling. That's a smooth feeling egg. Man, you don't feel it going forward, but going backwards, oh dude, you actually feel, you feel the weight. And the nice thing is now it won't be like spinning around. That is unusual. I've never had a weighted shift knob. So for me, this is brand new. Um, it does feel good. And the stopper is nice and, mm, yeah, that that feels good. Uh, somebody had suggested moving the stopper a little bit closer to the left, and I think that's perfect. And reverse lockout, yeah, barely touches the, uh, so what they were suggesting was make sure that this stopper barely touches the top part. So like, there's enough space there. So I can actually do, no problem. It feels great. Um, and that's really about it. 
It's very simple to install and it feels fantastic. All right guys, so everything is installed. Everything feels fantastic. Um, there's really not much else to say other than if you really want to get a shift knob that's a little bit better than the stock one, um, most of them are going to be okay because really this part of the car is super dependent on you. Some people like to have really heavy ones. Some people have to have a light, you know, like a light shifter or a tall one or a wide one. I've actually never had this. This is a barrel shaped one. This is new for me. Um, all the cars I've ever owned <laughs> minus like my to sell my very first car, which I had a really stupid, ugly shifter that was just like, I mean, it looked like a dildo. I don't know how else to describe it, but it was terrible. Uh, I have always had like round shift knobs. Um, so this will be interesting to just try out, feel out. The feel is, is also very important because it's, it's super shiny or uh, rather it's very smooth. It, it really does feel like an egg. It's very smooth. So I'm actually going to go for a quick drive, maybe a POV shot. Uh, maybe I'll put the camera on my head. And just because I actually do need to run to the library and return a couple of things that are due today. So I'll take you guys with me and we'll just kind of kind of talk about the shift knob. All right. So you guys are going to hear a cold start and what it sounds like inside of the car. It is incredibly obnoxious. <laughs> loud and then outside it's even louder there it goes pop 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 oh boy Sure. So as you guys can see in classic Oasis fashion, I muted the mic before I got on my drive. I actually got out uh, because the UPS guy showed up and he dropped off a package with surprise. It was the parent intake. And I guess when I grabbed the mic to take it off of the car, I accidentally muted it, which kind of sucks. So I wanted you guys to hear what the car sounded like on the inside, but I'm gonna do another video where we'll do a little POV drive and you guys can get that audio. But the shifter is amazing. Um, you really feel the weight when you're going into second, fourth, or sixth, obviously because you're pulling down and gravity helps with that. Um, more importantly, the moving the shift stop made one to two shift so, so good. You actually know exactly what I'm talking about. When I say, when you push it into second, it almost like you have to fight the transmission to actually do it. Uh, whereas now, because the path is directly, like it's a straight path, it just falls right into second gear just perfectly. Um, anyway, I hope you guys found this in, in video informative. I hope it helped in some way. And I hope that the overall editing and camera work is getting better. Definitely give me any suggestions that you have. Uh, in any case, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.